Hey, what's going on everybody? And today begins quite the adventure. Today is preparation day for my colonoscopy for tomorrow morning. It is Sunday. Currently it's one o'clock since uh, the beginning of the day. All I've been able to do thus far is drink liquids. So I've had some Gatorade, I've had some Arnold Palmer iced tea, lemonade mix. I've had uh, some broth soup and just drinking away. And in a matter of about two and a half hours, it begins. And so I just wanna share my journey with you if you are looking to get a feel what it's like, you know, for preparation and going through the colonoscopy and how that experience is. And that's what I'm gonna do and share with you on this video. So I'm not gonna share any gory details other than it's uh, hopefully gonna be smooth. Uh, it's gonna be a long day today and going through the night and, but hopefully the procedure I hear, the preparation is worse than going um, through the procedure. So just wanted just to share with you, first of all, I received this kit. I got this uh, easy to go lax. See if there's a, a link, they sent this whole kit. And then I got this uh, bisacodal. Uh, Bisacotyl, uh, it's a laxative. So I got that there. I don't, sorry if I mispronounced that. They sent me two packages of 32 ounce Gatorade. So I've got the water, I'll mix that up. Uh, I got my uh, wipes. But what I like to do actually, uh, and these are probably not the best for toilets, flushing too many of these down the toilet as they'll clog up your system, is just take a cup of water, dip the toilet paper in there, get some. Uh, soft toilet paper and should almost work just as well. Then I got the uh, lemon uh, gelatin dessert, which I'm not gonna use. I bought some jello at the store and then I also came here with uh, this chicken as well, this uh, bullion chicken to uh, make a mix, but I've got some other broth. So wanted to just share with you what I am going to have to do today to prepare. Uh, so they sent this document to me preparing through the week. So today, solid foods, clear liquids only. And you can see there at 3 p.m. I'm going to take the laxative. And then at 6 p.m. I am going to uh, start taking 32 ounces of the prep solution. And 9 p.m. take another two bis, bis uh, or the laxative. I'll just make it easier that way. And then what's nice as well, it just shows here. So at 3 p.m. I am going to prepare uh, the Gatorade, then I'm gonna take the two laxatives and then the 6 p.m. mix the uh, this product with the Gatorade and I'm gonna start drinking eight ounces of the solution every 15 minutes until you have finished drinking half of the mixture, 32 ounces, then 9 p.m. I take another two laxatives and then at 2 a.m. I gotta wake up again and I gotta take the other 32 ounces every 15 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna be pretty tired tomorrow, probably make it even easier when I get knocked out for the procedure. And uh, I also have to have a friend that has to take me there and also wait while I'm there and also to take me home just in case. Uh, so that's what the plan is. So I look forward to sharing with you as I start taking this, um, how I'm doing. And again, I look forward to as well just sharing with you what that experience is like. Try and make this video as, as exciting as I can, but it's nothing very exciting to look forward to other than, you know what, you gotta do it. Uh, I know some people say that there's other ways to do these um, types of treatments without having to go through the preparation colonoscopy, but this is what is recommended best for me. So gonna do it and that's what you gotta do when you hit the age of 50 and hopefully all is clear and I'll be uh, good to go for the next five to 10 years. So here we go, time to get ready and I'll be back to update you as we plug along. All right, it's three o'clock, let the fun begin. Please be painless. Oh gosh, here we go. So I got two laxatives that I gotta take. Here we go, cheers. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Gotta go mix my Gatorade up, and then in just a few hours, I start drinking 32 ounces for over a couple of hours thereabouts. So here we go. All right, got all the Gatorade in. 
just going to mix it up with a low speed. Alright, time to put it in the refrigerator and get ready here. Alright, it is time. 6 p.m. So far I've been doing pretty well, a little bit of a headache. Uh, felt my stomach rumble just a little bit, but so three hours after taking the laxative pills haven't had an issue. So this is where it's really going to kick in. So now I just got to get this cap off. Hey, one even doesn't even want to come off. Um, let's see if we can get this cap off. There we go. Oh goodness, here we go. I just got to get the uh, plastic plastic top off the seal and it doesn't have a smell and it looks almost like sugar so here we go this is all going in oh geez <laughs> here we go Ooh, gotta mix this up let's see my concoction is being made. Alright. Now it's time to drink eight ounces of this. Oh boy. Here we go. Got my <coughs> got my cup. Eight ounces. Here we go. So now I have to drink 32 ounces over the, about the next hour. So here we go. Cheers. It actually doesn't taste bad. It tastes sweet. And I guess with a Gatorade. So let's see how long before I uh, am uh, doing and my stomach rumble so I'm ready the favor says stay right by the bathroom so I'm ready to go I'm ready to run all right it's 9 p.m. I am definitely feeling it and I have to go to the bathroom uh, boy so but it's actually it hasn't been too too bad and it makes it a whole lot easier once your stomach actually loosens up just to let it, let it flow but Anyway, I got to take my two laxatives and just want to let you know I'm doing all right. My headache's uh, not too bad. I had some soup. I called up because I was worried. Time's gone by and I wanted just to say, hey, I haven't been able to go to the bathroom yet. Um, and they said, don't worry, we'll come. Have some hot soup. We'll loosen up your stomach. So I have. So now I take my two laxatives and then at 2 a.m. I get up to do the additional 32 ounces of drinking. And that should take me about 45 minutes, then I go back to sleep, and then I head in. So I will be back at 2 a.m. to update you to let you know how I'm doing. Thanks for staying with me. All right, it's a little bit after 2 a.m. I am up. I did fall back to sleep, been doing pretty well, surprisingly, to this point. So I've got uh, to drink this, plus this over the probably a little bit about the next hour and then I can go back to sleep so I'll probably get up around uh, 6 30 friends gonna pick me up around 7 15 7 30 gotta be there ready to go by 7 45 and then 8 30 is supposed to have the procedure so that's where I'm at well, I feel my stomach uh, getting a little queasy now so I think I'm gonna have to run back to the bathroom but wanted to give you an update I'm hanging in there I'll come back with you with an update uh, before going into the procedure. And thanks a lot for joining me along the way. All right, here at the medical center, getting ready for the big procedure. Everything's gone pretty smoothly so far. All right, here we go. All right. Well, I just woke up. 20 minute procedure, all clear, no polyps. Uh, it's amazing how tired I am for 20 minutes, and uh, it's a great experience. 
Yeah. All done. All clear. <laughs> All right, well, I am back from my colonoscopy, feeling a little woozy, but for the most part, feeling pretty good. It did take a little bit for the anesthesia to wear off and to think that is pretty powerful stuff. Uh, it's Proferol, I believe how you pronounce it, uh, what evidently Michael Jackson was taking, so, wow. Uh, but I remember um, being wheeled in there and joking with uh, the ladies and then they started uh, giving me the profarol and uh, within a matter of 30 seconds is like pff, out I remember it hit me and then I started getting really lightheaded and it started feeling good and and uh, it's amazing how it just knocks you out and 25 minutes later I was uh, thereabouts all done and good news uh, doctor gave an all clear did not have any polyps removed and I am good to go for the next 10 years, he said, which is great. So then uh, it was pretty funny. After um, I was done, you got this gas in your pocket and you know, everybody, they said, just fart away. So there I am just farting in the way. But one thing I do recommend is when you are going through the prep, if you feel like you have a gas pocket, don't think you can fart. That will not work, and I learned my lesson. Uh, but overall, it really wasn't that bad of an experience. Uh, I'll put a link to this this stuff. Uh, th this stuff was sweet, it worked out well. And um, so, you know, I, I don't really have anything to complain. I was worried a bit because I've heard stories, uh, you know, with the prep. Uh, I haven't heard any issues as far as the procedure, and I'm feeling fine, uh, no pain. Uh, just a you know few pockets of gas, but that's normal. And uh, tomorrow I'll be back at work. Today I just eat some light stuff. I had a Cliff Bar and a bread with peanut butter, so I'm good. So I hope this video was of help to you. If you are worried about going through a colonoscopy, don't worry. Uh, hopefully you'll have something that tastes sweet. And um, I you know I'm, I'm glad I went through. The procedure so now in 10 years I'll at least if I remember what I went through knowing that it wasn't that bad it's not gonna be that bad then as well anyway leave your comments questions for me I'll try and answer those for you if you've gone through a colonoscopy what's the experience been like and uh, glad to take you on the journey and uh, on with my life I go so glad all is clear thanks so much for watching have a healthy day we'll see you on the next video take care